we've already seen uh, the definition of electron athlete in the previous video students so welcome back today we'll be almost completing the chapter i think yes so today let us see the factors affecting electron affinity so it is also called as electron gain enthalpy isn't it right the first factor uh, affecting the electron affinity just remember this tricks very important electron affinity is inversely related to atomic size that next important factor which i have already explained in the tricks of inorganic series electron affinity is directly proportional to z effective that is effective nuclear charge if this is more this also the value also will be more third important thing electron affinity is inversely related to 1 by screening effect i have already explained by others why is this inversely related why is this directly related in the uh, trick series last but not the least the fourth one electron affinity value is directly related oh, sorry inversely related to 1 by stable electronic configuration <laughs> stable electronic configuration now so First of all, the electron, like these uh, concepts, please go back to the inorganic series, that is your trick series, where I have explained the concept one after the other. As of now, just I gave you the concept here. Now, next important thing, I just mentioned it here, but explanation, please understand, go to the video, watch it, and then you will have an understanding about this. Here, for noble gases, for the uh, inert gases, the electron affinity in inert gases is zero, isn't it? Why? Because of the configuration. That is, well, what is the configuration? NS2, NP6 configuration, isn't it? So, there is no possibility of adding extra electron. Right? That is the first important. So, let us write that. Noble gases, electron affinity value is zero. Done. Second thing, electron affinity value of, uh, if I have to say affinity value of, magnesium beryllium is practically zero zero why because extra stability of the completely filled shell okay let us write that due to extra stability of completely filled s orbital isn't it s orbitals because if I take magnesium, 12, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2s2, 2, 2p6, 3s2. Completely filled, isn't it? That's the concept. Suppose if an atom has half filled orbits, then electron affinity value will be very low. Right? So that also is one more concept where what am I saying? Suppose if I take fifth group, fifth group elements. So in fifth group elements, when I take fifth group done here uh, it is uh, basically now uh, you have the half filled electrons that is suppose if I take 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 1 fine right first of all let's see what, let us take an example of the fifth group elements and then write so now normally when I take a fifth group element in the periodic table, hope you, have, you would have seen the video of the periodic classification of elements students. <laughs> in that uh, periodic classification of elements, your first group uh, is your uh, alkali metals, second is your alkaline earth metals, okay, third, uh, fourth like that. Suppose if I take the fifth group elements, boron, atomic number 5. So, let us write boron 5, mm, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, this only, the same thing I have already written. So, uh, the half filled uh, shell of this, half filled orbits of this, the affinity will be very, very less because of the half filled truths. Now, let us see one more important uh, concept, variation of electron affinity value. Let me take out this page and let me see, variation of value or of electron affinity in a period and in a group. So let us write the heading variation of electron affinity in a period. First we will see in a period, then we will go to a group. Right. Fine. So when I speak about a period, electron affinity value, when I move from left to right, what is happening? The size is decreasing. When the size is decreasing, what will happen to the effective nuclear charge? Z effective that increases. So, in a period from left to right, 
what will happen first concept atomic size decreases when atomic size decreases what will happen to z effective z effective increases isn't it then that means the nuclear pull is increases so what is the uh, trend halogens will have more electron affinity value then oxygen family oxygen family then we then carbon family greater than nitrogen family nitrogen family greater than metals of group 1 and 12 uh, sorry 13 greater than metals of group 2 greater than zero group this is the concept yes so this is the order basically based on their the effective size and uh, sorry so atomic size as well as z effective that suppose if i take the uh, trend the electron affinity trend in the second period so trend of electron affinity in second period when i take the second period uh, concept so what are the elements so basically beryllium will be less than nitrogen less than lithium less than boron less than carbon less than oxygen less than fluorine suppose if i take this is your second period now if i take the third period concept and see let's see third period magnesium will be less than sodium less than aluminum less than phosphorus less than silicon less than sulfur than chlorine so according to the concept and according to the size this is a trend in a period suppose if i have to write the trend in a group right what happens in a group in a group when i move from top to bottom first size increases when size increases what will happen to z effective the pull of the nuclear charge decreases what will happen to the electron affinity value electron affinity value also decreases done so let's see the exceptional cases in case of electron value okay effective exceptional cases because these questions only will be asked in the exam exceptional cases remaining all normal trends i don't think they will question you but exception cases will be given in the cbc exam as well as your competitive exam also so in exceptional cases electron affinity of fluorine is less than that of chlorine of carbon less than the silicon nitrogen is less than phosphorus oxygen is than sulfur right so the, the, uh, the such exception cases here you have to remember so in case of uh, second period also because the size is less the very smaller size isn't it and the electron repulsion is more the addition of uh, uh, this excess, uh, extra electron will become very difficult so this is a uh, basic information student so remember one important thing the sequence of electron affinity suppose if i have to write seventh group i am writing it here only because the exceptions also in the the seventh group order is iodine less than bromine less than fluorine less than chlorine right now one important thing you should remember in electron uh, uh, this one electron affinity concept very important thing to remember remember this because they will ask you very important what is that l um oxidizing power oxidizing power of element is directly related to electron affinity remember this very very important next thing you have to remember is reactivity of non metals is directly related to electron affinity but right. 
so these are the two important things which you should remember under electron affinity so if you remember the trends in equation asked from any part is easy for you all thank you for watching students i'll meet you again in the next topic that is electronegativity